everybody. So it is Saturday, about 2.30 or so, and I'm finally done with stuff. So I thought, you know, I need to get on here and do a video. And since last week was my, or yeah, this week was my birthday on Tuesday, it was my 60th, so I was um, really excited about it. <laughs> and I'm not being facetious. I was. I like my birthday. So um, I wanted to share the things before I get started. I thought, well, I'll share some of my birthday gifts with you so you can see what I got. Um, from my husband, I got um, the... A six tube set of watercolors from Daniel Smith and it's the essential set basically because it is um, the primary colors the three primary colors and the warm and cool basically of each so they are super useful so I got that, and then he got me two watercolor books by the same artist, Jenna Rainey. This one, Everyday um, Watercolor, Learn to Paint Watercolor in 30 Days, are 30 lessons on painting. So I'm super excited, and especially because it's mostly botanical, nature, animals, floral, that type, type of thing, which I prefer. And then the other book by her, Everyday Watercolor Flowers. It's a guide to painting flowers, leaves, and stems um, in watercolor. So I'm really excited about that too. And that's kind of done as well in, you know, a lesson type style. So that was for my husband. Then for my friend Galena, who lives in the state next to mine. Uh, we always, her birthday's the 9th, mine's the 10th, and so we always send each other birthday gifts. And she got this for me. Now I'm going to put it this way, you can see it, but it's a lamp, and um, the owl, there's a light in it, so the owl lights up. Um, so let me just, um, you probably aren't going to be able to see it very well. Okay, so here it is, and then it dims, so you can have it however bright you want. Um, so that was super, super cool. I really like it. Really pretty lamp. So I'm going to put it out of the way so I don't like knock it over accidentally while I'm doing all this today. Okay, then she also sent me these stick markers. Um, just little post-its, really. And um, aren't they cute? Look at them. They're all these cute owls. Two little things of these adorable owl stickers. I love them. <clears throat> then, just put that aside. Uh, I went to church and um, the ladies at the table gave me things. And I don't have everything here, but I went to my sisterhood at church. And somebody did this for, did this, um, a friend of mine gave this to me. Uh, for my 60th birthday and um, some of these things I want to use like in my book like in my journal so I want to take some of this out and I'll just toss it up here but isn't that nice it's just a watercolor card and then writing and the word faith and I'm still trying to figure out who did it um, but I really like it it's really cool I'm gonna put it up somewhere where I can see it. So right now it's just sitting here because I have to, I had to figure out where I'm going to put it or what I want to use it in. So right now I just got it here. Then at church, the ladies gave me, one of the ladies gave me all these things. She works at the Dollar Tree. So she gave me this fun uh, ink pen. That's a pinwheel. That's super fun, right? I love these sort of things. They're just, they're just fun. Um, and then I have this Bible notes. Um, so this one is 
my initial, so it's a T. So that's pretty cool. And it says he strengthens me. So you can just like write little notes on these things. So super cute as well. And then she gave me this beautiful journal. God is light in him. There's no darkness at all. Oh, she went to TJ Maxx. See, TJ Maxx has tons of stuff. They really do. I like to peel these things off and not have them sticking on things. <laughs> well, that was sweet. Anyway, we'll just peel that off part way. So yeah, a journal. I love it. It's got verses on all the pages. And 365 day brighteners, whispered words of encouragement. So I should just pull this out and go to today's. I'll read you today's, March 14th. Begin today, no matter how feeble the light, let it shine as best it may. The world may need just that quality of light which you have. Very cool. I like that. So pretty. And then these prayer cards. Inspirational prayer and scripture cards for yourself and others. And there are 20 cards. So you just pull them out of here. Oh, come on, you can come out. <laughs> wow, they're like stuck. Let's see if I can push them. There we go. Oh, they're so pretty. Look at it. it says today's prayer. So you could like put them in something and then just pull them out every day, pull one out. So all kinds of like prayer and scripture cards. That is so cool. I love it. I love it. So yeah, that's a good one to, I'll put in something. I like that idea very much. All right. I'll just tuck that away for the, in the meantime. So sweet. So many cute things. Then my friend in, um, I have a friend, a journaling friend, and she, um, let's see, I just want to cut off her address here so that you guys don't see her address. I'll keep that private. All right. Anyway, she sent me a package for my birthday, and just look at this. Oh my gosh, these stamps. So, you know, I have to cut these stamps out, so they are going to totally go in my journal, and I'll kind of go through this, trim it down later, but you know. Aren't they cool? They're so cool. Oh my goodness. And then this Via Snail Mail is so adorable. There's always, you know, these cute things you have to... I don't even have room in my book for this because I made the book a certain way, and yeah. Anyway, very cool. So I will do that. So here's what she got me, and really all kinds of lovely things. First off, this watercolor paper, which I love because it's got a rougher texture, um, actually on both sides, not just one side. So I like that. And then, let's see what else we've got here. Okay, gotta throw this other thing in the garbage. Then she gave, got me this um, sachet. So you'd like put it in your drawer, your underwear drawer or something. And um, I love it, I really do. It smells so good. So that's gonna go into my um, drawer, my clothes. And let's see. Oh, there's some cute things on here I wanted to pull off um, that my friend Kathy sent me. So I'll stick this up here in my little thing for pulling stuff out. 
And then, isn't that card thing so cute? Keep that, and then a lovely birthday card. Really like with a very watercolor look to it. And then a lovely note, uh, a little note about something she sent me in this box here. So I'll show that to you in a sec. I'm gonna put the card over here. Um, she got me these squares of um, like they're like quilting quarters, I guess. And but aren't they cute? There's a travel and an owl one. And since I am planning to get back to my um, making junk journals, I have determined I will absolutely get back to doing that because I most I decide I most decidedly must do that so yeah I'll be these will be really pretty for that sort of thing so yeah that and then um, this was just a bag something came in and <laughs> it's cute and I just need to like put it with my bags Peel the tape off. There's a couple of cute smiles on here. So maybe I'll put those on something. We'll see. All right, and then uh, this is, I love this. So this is um, for keys, your keys. And I think I'll just peel that off. Yeah, and I really like it. And actually, um, I think it will work well probably for like going to the gym uh, to take my keys with me. <clears throat> and then this note was about these cute hair bands that they're really good. She uses them. She bought a package to use on her traveler's notebooks. So she really likes it. So she got one for me because um, they work well as closures. And then there's two cute flower ones in there. Um, so those are for Sadie. So, so cute. I like this little box too. She protected it well so it wouldn't get all like wrecked. But yeah, I do like the little box. I'm going to put it with my other boxes. All right. So yeah, so this is so thick that it would be hard, but those are for Sadie, the flowers. And then these are for me. So let's peel this tape off to this tape. But oh my gosh, aren't they so, I love the color. They're so pretty. So these will, um, I'll give to Miss, little Miss Sadie. So I'll put those over here. So then these work like, will go around your um, traveler's notebook to like, I got that a little bit wonko, but see, isn't that cute? Oh my gosh, I love this. I love these colors so much. Thank you. Such beautiful, thoughtful gifts that you have given me and they're gorgeous and I really appreciate them. So thank you so much, Kathy. So those are my gifts. So now I'm going to get in here and, and I have some other gifts too. Um, I had flowers, I had um, some perfume from Victoria's Secret, I had Twizzlers and Cheetos, <laughs> that sort of stuff. Yeah, so yeah, I had plenty. So let me pull this out so we can start doing this. And I've got to get ready and start doing April, May, and June. So I've got the pages ready here for the Mary Inglebright and calendar. And I've got to put them in this book. This has enough pages for three months. And this is from Paper Penguin Company on Etsy. Just in case you're wondering. So let's get out the glue and the adhesive runner that I use all the time. 
and some scissors. <coughs> and I've got my washi. I'll bring that a little closer to use my washi. And I think we are ready. I have lots of, I have my collection of things. Look at, I got this for my birthday too. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> ah, I wore that on Tuesday night. So before things, okay, so here's just like all kinds of my stuff. It's all my stuff for like to get in here. It's just uh, craziness is what it is. So hopefully I can figure out what I got and put it in its appropriate place. So um, as you know, it's Saturday the 14th of March. And I live in the United States, and as you know, the coronavirus, or COVID-19, has been going around like crazy to, uh, and several countries have been hit really badly. And it's only really just beginning here in the United States. There are some hot spots. Um, I think there's a total of 2,100 cases so far, but there's not a lot of tests available yet so they really haven't been able to test because there's not a lot of tests available for that purpose so really there's probably more there's probably a lot more and it's interesting because my daughter had uh was sick in jan december or january january i think and she had um what she thought was like a bad cold or something. And she had trouble breathing and they finally just gave her an emergency inhaler to use for a couple of weeks until she finally was okay again. But she was exhausted. Um, she was short of breath. She doesn't have asthma or anything like that. Um, she caught was coughing and just you know just felt sick and run down so it's possible she had something similar i don't know but she's okay now anyway so yesterday our president uh put the country the nation of the united states into emergency status and uh, minnesota of course was also declared before that he did that minnesota was declared by the governor to be uh, peacetime state of emergency and in Minnesota we only have 21 cases diagnosed so far but it's gone crazy here literally crazy um, everything is shutting down um, big events my church is gone online the university where my husband does maintenance is going remote all the universities and colleges are going remote. Some of the school districts have closed the public schools, K through 12, but not everybody, uh, not the majority, but the state next to us in Wisconsin has done that. Um, I'm supposed to have jury duty on April 6th, but the judicial courts are all closed uh, for at least a month. So I probably won't be doing much in the way of jury duty for my two weeks, that starts in April. Um, people have been hoarding stuff. The st my husband went to the store. Thank goodness we bought toilet paper, our big pack at Sam's Club, like we do every month and a half. It lasts us probably a month and a half. Big, big old pack with lots of rolls. We had bought that at the beginning of March, so we're fine. <laughs> but he went to try and get like some milk and stuff today and some... Uh, we have some Lysol wipes, so we're okay there anyway. And I just thought, why don't you see if you can find some little bottles of hand sanitizer and we just keep them in the car. Well, there wasn't any of that. There's no toilet paper, paper towels. Um, he went to all these and there was no flour. They had bought all the flour. And p people are buying water. I need distilled water for my APAP, CPAP machine. No distilled water to be found. Fortunately, I have a gallon left. But um, it's just like, I don't understand why you have to hoard all this stuff because number one, it's still being produced. So it's not going, there's not gonna be a shortage unless you make it a shortage by hoarding, which is what's happening. 
And some stores are finally starting to limit how much stuff people can buy because it's gotten pretty ridiculous, honestly. But that's my opinion, okay? I mean, this is Minnesota. We don't have that many cases yet. And practice social distancing. Practice, like, wash your hands. Be careful. Stay away from older, vulnerable people. You know, it's going to come. I believe that it's, we're going to get hit with it. That's just how it is. So just take the precautions you can. But I don't really feel personally the need to go out and buy a bunch of stuff and hoard because I really don't think there's any reason to because it's not like it's not it's still being produced so it's still going to be there unless everybody buys it out and it isn't like it is now so people who need toilet paper because they're almost out can't get toilet paper anywhere and that should not happen okay rant over let's Let's go to where I left off last time, okay? Um, oh, I wanted to stick this down because this kept popping up and it was bugging me. So I didn't do this day. I got through March 5th, um, and this is where I left off, March 6th. So I'm not too bad. It's, it, today's the 14th, so I'm just a little over a week, you know, to catch up. I, that's pretty good, right? So, uh... We had a nice sunny day. It got up to 39. We it was Friday, so we picked I picked up some cheesecake for dessert. Um for my birthday that we had at home and um there was a really good sale going on at Michael. Well, there's always a good sale at Michael. So I I picked up a sketchbook. And then um, I picked up a blueberry scone at Starbucks. So let's see what I did. Uh, oh, I had the morning off, the, which sometimes my boss does, gives me, which is so nice. So um, I did a recording for all of this here, uh, a journaling process. And then I at 10 o'clock I went and did some errands. So I stopped at the bank for cash for my son's birthday. And then, and I don't know why I said the word party here for just for his birthday. There wasn't a party. And then I went to the library and picked up some art books. And then I went to Michael's to get, and I got two tubes of paint and a sketchbook. And then I got to work about 1130. And, and it wasn't very busy, of course. And then, so I stopped at Lunt's Byerly's on the way home to pick up the two mini cheesecakes for my birthday dessert. Um, so I got the triple chocolate mousse for Doug and I got the Irish cream cheesecake for me. They're both cheesecakes and they're just a little round, like this round, that high. So just right. And so what we did, um, I got home at early, of course, because we get off at three and I watched some Virgin River on Netflix. That's a really good series that started this year. I really like it. Um, and then we had chicken quesadillas for supper, and we rented Gemini Man with Will Smith, and that was, it was actually a pretty good movie. We, we really liked it. And we watched some Heartland, went to bed. So that was kind of our, our day. So I might as well at least put in a couple things. I gotta see what I got here. And, 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 let's go ahead and, I have to see, I've got all these things. All right, Starbucks. So maybe what I'll do is I'll just tear off this part. No coffee, and I'll just put it right there. I think that will work just fine. So anyway, um, how are you guys doing? Do you feel like you need to stay home more because of the coronavirus? Are you in an area of the country or the world where it's been hit particularly hard? Or you're on, are you, is your country on lockdown? Are there restrictions? Are you having to like, um, practice like isolating yourself? Um, what's kind of, 
going on with you and that that whole everything that is happening and the the craziness because I just can't believe like to me the number of things that are closed and and I understand that I, I don't have a problem with that I, I do think we need to be wise and um, if things need to be closed for a while just so that people don't infect each other <clears throat> that's a good idea but then that leaves people possibly feeling um, like going through um, just a second um, that leaves people feeling lonely um, and isolated and it's not like you can't go out and do things. The restaurants like here are still open. The library is still open. The um, the gyms, the gyms are still open. So there are things that are still open. But. Do you still feel like this, um, you know, kind of a sense of isolation despite that? That's kind of what I'm, I'm asking. All right, so Saturday, uh, a week ago, I got a nice night of sleep, 10 hours. It was so good. We got up at 8 o'clock. Um, I went to a baby shower for a friend, and uh, it was really good. And Doug actually took me because he came in afterwards because it was a lot of people he knew from Bethany, so he wanted to say hi to people. So he took me, and then he went geocaching while I was at the baby shower. And it is was a baby shower for a boy. So I'm going to just put this little sticker, boy sticker right there. And it was good. We had a nice time. It was a brunch, and we had a good time. Really enjoyed it. So then we decided to uh, stop at Trader Joe's on the way home to pick up the tulips for my birthday because I wanted 60 tulips. So we got four bouquets. <clears throat> There's nine, about nine to ten in each bouquet. And then they gave me one bouquet free for my birthday. So I brought home five bouquets, and that was 49 flowers in purple, dark pink, and yellow, and then an orange-yellow uh, mix. And they're so pretty, so pretty. And I don't know if I have any flowers. I don't think I have any flower stickers. Oh, I do have a few, but I doubt that I have tulips. I have a tulip, what? <laughs> I have one tulip, you guys, hooray. So let's put that there, we'll put that there. Put a tulip. So yeah, um, had a good time, you know. I'm just gonna put that there, cause why not? Um, but yeah, it was. It was a good afternoon. <laughs> I'm digging out anything I have that might have to do with uh, birthday stuff. So I'm just kind of searching out my stuff, seeing what I got. I don't have a lot, but I have some. So, um, then what we did, Sunday, oh no, then, um, excuse me, after the tulips, we went and picked up Sadie, my granddaughter, and um, I'm just doing some kind of fun stuff here <clears throat> to spend the night with us. So, um, but then we we were home for a couple hours, and then we all met with my daughter and her husband and my son at a little small family-run Italian restaurant called Luna de Luna. To celebrate Andrew's birthday, who was Sunday, he was 34, and my birthday, which was the coming Tuesday. 
and wonderful Italian food, so good. Um, we ate half and took the, took, took the other half home. And then we just relaxed um, until bedtime. Sadie played some Minecraft, we watched some Heartland, um, just kind of took it easy. And then Sunday, um, went to church, of course, and Doug made us pancakes for breakfast. And then we took, we didn't take Sadie home. Her mom actually came and picked her up later in the afternoon. And Doug went geocaching. And then um, after Rachel picked Sadie up, I just had some coffee, watched some more uh, Virgin River. I worked on a drawing and watercoloring tulips. And then Doug and I had hamburgers for supper, and we watched, we rented the movie Knives Out, which is kind of a cl like clue, but it was really good. It was funny. We rented that and watched that, and then we called Andrew to wish him a happy birthday. And before I went to bed, I joined Planet Fitness. Yeah. I decided for my birthday, I was going to rejoin Planet Fitness. I was turning 60. And I was not getting the exercise that I needed. So I joined Planet Fitness again, which is smart. <laughs> I'm just gonna put this here because it's a good, it was just good, I needed to. I did. So Monday, I went to Planet Fitness at 4 a.m. That's the time I'm going, it's 4 a.m. I know, it's a little crazy, but that's the time I chose. And um, I'm just going to put this here and some of these stars and uh, yeah. I'm happy with that decision and I think it's going to be good for me because I really do need to move. So then, uh, what did we do? Um, went to work. And it wasn't, you know, there was a lot more news about the coronavirus. So actually what I did when I got home is I, we, I only was watching like the weather and traffic and we weren't watching the news. But now I have been watching the news just because of the coronavirus. And Italy uh, was on lockdown. And just all things around, the, a lot of things around the world being canceled. Beth, Bethel, where my husband works, canceled all their summer mission trips. Um, the stock market was hitting record lows. So really, um, very a time of like a worry for people, you know. Um, Doug went to a six o'clock class at REI about what, the Superior Hiking Trail. And we had leftovers from Luna de Luna for supper. And while he was out, I watched Virgin River. And then he came home with more tulips for me. So now I had, at this point, I had 59 tulips. And this was the day before my birthday. And we watched Heartland and Red. So, <laughs> ah, good times, people, good times. So let's see what I want to do. is put a quote up in that corner. I have this quote book from Flow Magazine, Everything Grows With Love. And I actually haven't done, pulled things out of here in a long time. So I was thinking I would like to pull something out of here for this page. But I have to see what, what might be good today counts. How about today counts? Alright. There we go. And also I have been thinking a lot about, you know what I had just been having a really hard time getting back into making my junk journals, and I really want to, but I, I don't know, I just have been having a difficult time just getting myself back into doing it. 
So I thought, you know what, I just, I have to, I want to do it. So what I did was I just um, went ahead and I got my sewing machine out and, um, or it was out, but I set it out where I could and put out my sewing basket and I put my Daphne diary inspired junk journal stuff out because I really need to get going at it and I want to also make and sell my regular hardcover um, junk journals again something I have been sorely neglecting so um, that's kind of where I'm at with that okay I think that's pretty good let's just do one right here, because why not? All right. So that was Monday. Then Tuesday was my birthday. So Tuesday um, was really a good day. I got my free Starbucks coffee before work. I got a venti cold brew, uh, salted cream cold foam. Went to Planet Fitness. Mandy brought me 10 more tulips. So that means I have 69 tulips, and these are beautiful yellow and red, uh, yellow ones with red. So pretty. Um, Rachel picked me up around 10, and we went to birthday brunch at the original Pancake House, and we stopped at Michael's, and I picked up the journal, and I picked up um, the last tube of, I think, the last tube of watercolor I needed for my colors. Yeah, a tube of purple. And at work, they gave me a strawberry cream cheese cake. And Mandy let me go home an hour early. And I had two packages at the office, so I picked those up. And then Doug got home a little early, and we went to Sisterhood. And then the ladies celebrated me at Sisterhood. So I want to just try and uh, put some things in here. Because I had the strawberry. It's like the strawberry cheesecake. So let's put that here and the strawberry there. And then I, of course, like I said, I went to Starbucks. So let's see. I think I'll just do Starbucks. I think I'm just going to do this, this so that it doesn't take up too much space. I do have a lot of different things I want to put on this page. Um, and I can't even put everything I want on this page, so maybe it'll just flow over into the next page. So let's put this here. Okay. <clears throat> and this is where Rachel took me, the original pancake house. So I will... I was going to see if I could knock this down. I probably should be looking at the time. I bet you anything, it's going crazy. Let me take a look. Guys, oh, 38 minutes. I was afraid I was already up to an hour, and I was like, I'm taking too long. Truly. Anyway, um, my work will not close as far as I know and we're a small office there's only nine of us in the office and um, I don't anticipating our work closing down at all and I figure we'll, I'll be going into work I'll tell you what I have noticed a very marked dip in traffic now my husband where he's going will find out Monday what their work schedule will look like if they have enough work to keep them busy like he works he ha is in charge of several dorms to do the maintenance, and he also does some pro maintenance projects, so maybe they have some projects they can have him do so they don't, like, miss work, because I would prefer, <laughs> as would he, that he does not miss work. So, yeah, I guess we'll see what, what happens, right? Because you just don't know. I just realized I'm not going to be able to fit this in like I wanted to. Maybe if I just go like this and 
cut off part of this. There we go. So I was trying to figure out how to make that work. Okay. Ah, many things, many things, people. I just want to see what else I can fit in here because I have so many birthday things. It's crazy. Um, more birthday. This is birthday. This is food. I have so much Starbucks stuff in here. It's a little bit crazy. But let me see if I can kind of straighten it out. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, I got all this. I just kind of got to pick through and um, figure out some things. Did Taco Libre. Kind of wanted like to put some of this stuff here. Make today amazing. So I thought that would be fun to just put in here because that came off something. Um, I'm going to try to probably flow some stuff over into other areas just because it is a little hard to get it all on here. But I'm going to try and get... Um, as much as I can. It's kind of fun to do. Do these little things, isn't it? So I'm just kind of, wherever I can find stickers that will peel off things, I'm peeling them off. <laughs> Kathy, thank you. <laughs> Because thanks to you, I have all kinds of wonderful stickers and I can just kind of, you know, put them where I want and celebrate my day. I love this party. <laughs> These stickers peel off really good. I'm like, man, how's that? And then some fun birthday washi. Everything peels off. I'm so amazed. Let's see. I'm going to have to go like this, though. So, happy. Day. So, we'll put that there. Happy day. So, at least I have that. And then... Um, it was 60, so I would like to put that here. So six, zero, and I got all kinds of wonderful gifts from friends. So we're just going to kind of pop those up here and there. Here we go. What else? What else? Oh, here's a little one. I can stick that one there. So much fun, you guys. Okay. Then, so that's the birthday stuff. Um, hmm. I have other bits and pieces of birthday-ish things. I'm just trying to figure out the best way to the stamp came on a letter and I thought it was super pretty I, it came on a birthday card yeah some of my birthday things are going to overflow into Wednesday because I have run out of room so we're just going to move it over so yeah my birthday was just super fantastic and then the 11th um, yeah, what was the 11th like? I stopped at Caribou for my free birthday drink at Caribou because you get a free drink there as well. 
and I'm all about like, you know, getting the free drinks. I'm going to turn them down, right? So I got that and a bakery item. And I guess really all I got is Einstein Brothers. So I don't think. I think I'll put anything on for that one because I don't know what to do. All right, but I do want to put some other stuff on. So Wednesday, then what else happened? So I got an iced caramel high rise and a walnut strudel. Um, after work, I went to the library to pick up a painting book called The Art of Botanical Painting. Uh, we watched the national news and the U of M announced that they were all classes would be going remote. Uh, we had a light supper, watched some Heartland. Doug went to the men's a men's study group, and I watched some YouTube watercolor videos. And then the president addressed the nation, so I listened to that, and then just read until bed. So it wasn't, you know, didn't do a whole lot. So let's just put some of the things in here. So I want to peel off the bubble part of the envelope with a bubble wrap envelope. And you can just peel the bubbles off, which is really convenient, right? And then I can put these amazing, beautiful, beautiful stamps, which by the way, they did not post, they didn't cancel these stamps at the post office but I'm not gonna use them. I mean, I could if I wanted to, but I honestly don't think that's honest. So I'm gonna just cut them out and put them in here because they're so pretty. I love them. So pretty. So we'll use the adhesive runner on these because otherwise there's no way on earth this would even stick. So let's go so pretty and I gotta figure out how to use them. Let's let's go like this and then this one oh, this is not Whew, like let me see if I can chew up my traveler's notebook here because like right Oh my goodness, Terry. That's terrible. Okay, let me fix it. Let me fix it. Kind of wasn't very careful. All right. There we go. All right, so we're just going to put this one um, right here, I think. It's so pretty, you guys. Oh my gosh. I'm not going to use that. This was that lamp I got from my friend, so I think I will put that on this page because I took the, there was a picture on the box. So we'll put that there. This was the tulips. So maybe what I'll do is just do this. And um, let me cut off some of the extra on here. But these were the tulip, on the wrapping for the tulips from my boss. So I think what I'll do is just stick it right there. And that way this can like come up so it's not like stuck there. And then I had some other things like this Victoria's Secret um, perfume and lotion is called Bombshell. So maybe I can just peel off a little bit of this. I don't need a lot. I just I just need a little. But I don't you know, I'd, this book just gets too thick for three months if I don't 
trim down a few of these things. Yeah, so um, that was my day for Wednesday. So we're almost to today. So let's put this here and then let's take this. Um, this says the perfume's name, which was Bombshell. So let me see if I can somehow get this to do what I want. And we'll just put Bombshell right there. <laughs> Because I'm like, I don't know what to do. My goodness. Um, yeah. And then let's just put an owl here because why not? Let's put this guy here. And then we'll just put an owl right here. And then let's put some cupcakes as well. Kind of birthday, birthday-ish, right? For the birthday, and I think that's crazy enough for one day. I feel like, um, yeah, I feel like we're gonna have to cut a little bit of the sunshine off. It is interfering a little bit. All right. We have sunshine today, but it's cold. Okay, so <laughs> also um, I'm gonna put a couple things on here. Um, Thursday then, uh, the day it was really a gray day on Thursday, but it did stay in the 40s all day. And um, Gary brought me a Starbucks in the afternoon, both Mandy and I. Starbucks and then we had omelets for supper and we watched the news and then we went to our Shakopee 500 missionary prayer meeting in the evening and uh, that was it. I got the report on my biopsy for my bug bites. Um, they did the biopsy on my arm. There it is. The stitches. Three stitches. Anyway, um, I can get them out on Tuesday. The, um, they came back as bug bites, but I don't know how I could be getting bug bites and why would they stop for five months and then come back? So I have lots of questions that they can't really answer, but I have questions, people. <laughs> so anyway, that's, uh, that's me. So I was just like, eh, I don't know. Because then they're like, oh, you need to take your hamster in. Maybe he's got fleas or something. Well, number one, if he did, why did the bite stop for five months? So that doesn't make any sense to me. And also, why has nobody else had any trouble at all? At all, period. So I just, I don't buy that. You know, I'll check him, but I just, I don't buy it. This is it. I got a spring cargo coat um, from Kohl's. Uh, really good for camping and stuff. That's what this is. And I had this chocolate thing from Trader Joe's, which was too strong. I didn't like the chocolate, so I did give it away, but anyway. I thought it'd be fun to just kind of stick it over here. Um, but I want it to like not take up too much space, you know, maybe kind of like this. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm just kind of like, oh, I don't know what to do because I'm not in agreement with the dermatologist on this. I know it shows as a bug bite, but if I have some kind of dermal hypersensitivity and I have some issues, uh, autoimmune stuff, um, I think that that needs to be considered as part of the whole factor of this 
and what's going on. That is my humble opinion, okay? So, I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, I thought it would be kind of, let's put the Band-Aid in, the Band-Aid gauze in here, because I was using a Band-Aid that, you know, regular latex, and my skin got so sensitive from it. I am obviously sensitive, to, and I knew I was, so I knew I wouldn't be able to use it very long. So now we're just using gauze and that Ace bandage, and um, I mean, you just put Vaseline on it because you gotta keep it moist. And then I got two more bites, like right here's the stitching. I got a bite here and I got a bite there. So that was itching me like crazy. So, I don't know. I just don't know. I just don't have any explanation. I mean, and they're definitely less now, so I'm really kind of hoping that the worst is over. And I don't have to deal with it too much. I don't know. But kind of where it's at. So, who knows? Let's put a little owl there just for fun. I ended up having these owls and I might as well just, you know, use them and enjoy them. All right, so then I just need a little piece of something here. So anyway, that was my exciting Thursday. Right? Let's just throw some oops oops <laughs> that sticker went in the wrong place come back I'm just gonna throw some little diamonds in here because I don't know what else to do all right so that was Thursday now just one more day Friday oh I should put something up here shouldn't I what should I put? Let's put this. Okay. So Friday had a pretty slow day at work. But we did get some uh, Mandy paid for Taco Libre. So I had two sopes, which were absolutely wonderful. I love sopes. So I'm going to put this paper down. This was the rat, like the parchment paper that they have. Um, and like I said, work wasn't super, super busy, but we managed to keep fairly busy. And um, I just got off at regular time. And so I went to Kohl's and got three blouses for the summer, spring, summer, because I really needed some new blouses and I had some good coupons so I was like okay I just need to go get them so that's what I did um, and of course that's when the state of emergency for the nation and the state were set and Doug found out that Bethel would be going remote my mother-in-law and her husband are both uh, vulnerable for their age they're close to 90 they're in their eight, upper 80s, and they are in a senior living uh, apartment building, and that's on lockdown. He called his dad and his his wife, uh, my father-in-law and his wife, and they are I, quarantining themselves because they are both vulnerable at, you know, close to 90 and close to 90. So, yeah, now a whole bunch of other things were canceled today, that yesterday, just tons of stuff. So I went home and relaxed, and then we I made some hash for supper, and we watched Heartland, and then we watched a Netflix movie, which is really good. Uh, it takes place in uh, New Zealand or Australia, New Zealand, I think, and it's just called Go Kart, and it's a really good like movie. Like it would be a good one to watch with your family. Um, really enjoyed it. So I think. Um, that's a good one to try out on, on um, Netflix. I love Netflix. <laughs> so, check it out. I think you'll like it. 
All right, so I'm just trying to decorate this last page up. So remember, I asked you about how you are dealing with this coronavirus and what your like state, country, whatever has decided and how are you feeling? Are you feeling um, isolated in any respect? Do you feel like um, lonely or scared or, you know, not really sure what to do? It's kind of like, um, what is, I'm going to put this here, what's tomorrow going to bring, you know? Um, there's just all these questions and... Honestly, it can be scary. So, it's just things to think about, you know? And honestly, after hearing all that news and everything, I didn't really know what to think about it, so I didn't really process it a whole lot yesterday. Um, but I woke up this morning and I think it just kind of hit me, and I was kind of like thinking about it. And even though I'm not isolated, because you know what, I can still go to work, and I have a husband at home, so I'm not at home by myself, and I have lots of friends I can talk to, but, um, but for some reason, I was feeling isolated. And I'm not as isolated as lots of other people are definitely more isolated than I am. That's for sure. So, um, I don't know why. I don't know why I was feeling like that. And, um... But I was, so I was kind of like giving myself a talking to this morning, like, all right, you know, there's people who have it a lot worse than you, but I do have to acknowledge that I'm having those feelings. I, I think it's just the uncertainty, and I don't, you know, I know that it's going to go through, people are going to get sick, um, but there's just like, because we as a nation has started this whole isolation process, it is um, kind of scary. And you just, you know, you just wonder what, what do you do? How do you handle it? And so I was thinking about that and I thought, well, you know, maybe other people in the community are feeling that way. Uh, maybe you guys are feeling a little bit, some of you are maybe kind of feeling a little like isolated and by yourselves and wondering like what you can do and um, how do you get through that and um, you know, just different questions and things about the whole thing and um, it can be difficult. So I was thinking about that and um, I wasn't panicked or anything like that. I just, um, I was just feeling weird. Like I didn't know what to think about the whole thing. And so I was feeling a little bit, um, maybe a little bit panicked. I don't know. But, yeah, something, I guess, right? Obviously, something. So, anyway, that's what I was going through. And and then I was thinking about all you guys and just kind of wondered um, if you were going through any of the same things, um, struggling at all with feelings of isolation or scared or um, lonely 
you know. And so I was just kind of thinking, well, you know, what can I do? Is there anything I can do to like help and uh, myself and others at the same time? And you know, when you think about it, yeah, there there is because I can. Um, I thought, well, I could come on more often on social media and post more often, a little more than I usually do. Just even if it's just getting on and just talking while I work on something, just to kind of be there for people. Cause I know there's lots of people that don't really get out and then they're sitting at home and then what do you do while you're sitting? Like, what are you gonna do while you're sitting at home? And I thought, well, you know, I could be there as just a voice speaking, a friendly voice, speaking to people. Um, and maybe that would help, because I want to help. So I, I did think about that. So um, let me know what you think. I can't say, I, because all our, our evening activities are canceled during the week now, and even our weekend stuff, we just don't, I got a lot more time. And I got a lot of things I could do. But I would like to maybe do a few extra videos. Um, I want to do some Bible journaling videos and stuff like that. So um, let me know what you think. Are you up for that? Would you like me to come on a little bit more than I usually do? Uh, even if it's just we're pasting, cutting these up and pasting them in the book. You know, that. <laughs> Let me know. I could do that and talk. I don't mind. I could talk. I, apparently I have no trouble talking, so yeah. So just let me know. So here we go. The sixth, the seventh and eighth, the ninth, the tenth, the eleventh, voila, the twelfth, and the thirteenth. And then this is today, which is blank. Usually end up filling it with writing. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, you guys are the best. I love you. You're like family, friends to me. And I, I do enjoy getting on here and chatting with you and, um, sharing all the things I'm doing. So um, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see y'all next time. Okay. Bye.